we recently uh, released sort of a firm uh, mid-year ESG outlook, and we really define climate investing as sort of three areas. Uh, try, uh, we see sort of climate investing as mitigation, transition, and adaptation. Uh, mitigation, simply put, it's everything that's green today. You're talking about climate solutions that help different other sectors to decarbonize. Transition is everything that's simply not green today, becoming green. And thinking about transition, a lot of it, part of it is really thinking about what are risks to different industries as transition comes into place, uh, particularly with sort of policies like carbon taxes and carbon pricing. Uh, but what we also think is important is alpha opportunities from transition leadership. So you're really looking for companies that are making early initial progress on transition. So looking at things like free revenue capex, whether they have transition plans, uh, that would capture alpha as these are, tend to be assets that are mispriced today. Uh, and the final um, area is adaptation. So this is uh, El Nino year. Um, I think it's no surprise. Everyone have experienced different bits of climate impacts uh, over the past few weeks, especially in Hong Kong. Uh, the risk of physical, um, physical risk as a whole and the impact on different industries like agriculture and food, uh, like infrastructure, would become more prevalent. And there's a strong need for adaptation financing in some of these areas. Uh, the challenge today is that most of this tend to be from the public um, side of financing. So those, again, would be potentially interesting opportunities. In terms of adaptation financing, um, is there a gap on that, uh, Alex? Are you seeing a big gap on the adaptation financing in the market? If you look at sort of uh, global um, flows to climate finance, uh, majority of it is in mitigation today. Uh, the challenge of adaptation is partly in terms of definition. You wouldn't find um, as clear definitions to adaptation versus mitigation. Mitigation, after you know years of work, um, it's very clearly measurable. Um, there's a common goal in terms of policies. Uh, but in adaptation, um, there isn't, for example, a single sort of adaptation bond standard right now. And more often than not, what you find is that if I'm looking investing in a green bond, chances are a green bond would have both mitigation and adaptation impact. So from a definition point of view, it makes it challenging. Uh, but at the same time, most of the adaptation areas tend to be funded by public financing. From a pri sort of private investor's perspective, um, it's, hard to, it's always said to be tricky to capture the upside. So that's something, again, that is an um, interesting one to, for investors to look at. 